Hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, heaven and earth adore, evil angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, what a mighty God. We say hallelujah. What a mighty God we say hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. Oh, what a mighty God we say hallelujah. What a mighty God, we serve, we are serving the Lord. What a mighty God, we serve, hallelujah. Heaven and other, no, evil angels bow before him. Oh, what a mighty God, we serve, amen. Amen. Oh, blessing and glory, 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 glory. Wisdom, thanks given. Ah, oh, no, ah, oh, oh, no, power am Be unto our God, to our God forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, 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 glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, thanksgiving. Ah, ah, oh no, ah, ah, oh, oh no, power, am, ma, power, am, ma, oh, be unto our God. Forever and never. Amen. 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 We bind the devil. We bind the devil. We lose God's power. In this place. In this place. We speak in tongues. Satan is confused, deliverance shall follow, amen. Let's go ahead and begin to worship the Lord. Let's lift up our voices. Let's begin to adore Him. Let's begin to exalt His holy name. Let's magnify Him. Let's bless His holy name. It's worthy to be praised. It's worthy to be adored. It's worthy to be exalted. It's worthy to be magnified. It's worthy to be lifted on high. There is no one like Him. There has never been anyone like Him. There can never be anyone like Him. Let's worship Him. Let's worship our God. Let's worship our king let's worship our maker let's worship our redeemer let's worship the one that is full of power the unknowing god the god that has ever been the god that will ever be worship the mighty in battle worship the way maker worship the ocean divider worship him that is stronger than the stronger worship him that is brighter than the brighter worship the almighty the most high the god of power the god of might the God of majesty, the God of excellency. Mama Rudi da la 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 shidi lubo borodo zidi andala bobo jaga da baba. Father, we worship you, O Lord. Blessed, blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. We worship. Amen. You want to lift up your voice? You want to thank him? In all way, he has been good to you. Can you just go ahead and begin to say thank you, Father, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I come before you, O oh God, with the heart of gratitude. Thank you, O oh Lord. I can't thank you enough for all you have done for me, for all you are doing for me, for all you will do for me. Thank you for the salvation of my soul. Thank you for my healing. Thank you for my deliverance. Thank you for provision 
salvation. Thank you for food. Thank you for drink. Thank you for lifting. Thank you, Lord, for being there for me. Thank you for fighting in my battle. Thank you for not forsaking me. Thank you for not leaving me alone. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your enablement. Father, I appreciate you. Jesus, I appreciate you. Saviors, I appreciate you. Redeemer, I appreciate you. My King, I appreciate you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my King. Thank you, my all in all. You are worthy to be prayed. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be exalted. Thank you, God of heaven and earth. Thank you, controller of the end of the universe. Thank you, immortal. Thank you, invisible. Thank you, the only wise God. Father, I appreciate you. Lord, 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 I appreciate you. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. You want to ask God for mercy in any way you have heard, in any way you have sinned against him, you want to cry to God to have mercy on you, let him forgive you of all your sin, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and begin to pray now. Father, please have mercy on me. Ancient of day, have mercy on me. Eternal Redeemer, have mercy on me. The God of heaven and earth, in any way that I've sinned, in any way that I've wronged thee, in any way that I've obey thee in any way that I've gone contrary, O oh God, to your will, to your will, to your instruction. Father, please have mercy on me. O oh Lord, please have mercy on me. Father, 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 have mercy on me, O oh Lord. Forgive me of every sin. Forgive me of every unrighteousness. Forgive me of every iniquity, O oh Lord. Father, please forgive me of all my transgression. Father, Father, forgive me of all my transgression. Forgive me of all my transgression. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, mercy, O Lord. Father, mercy, O Lord. Father, mercy, O Lord. Father, mercy, O Lord. Father, have mercy on me. 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 Thank you, faithful. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to pray this prayer? You want to cry to God to make his face to shine upon you and let him be gracious unto you, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, say, Father, please make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ, make your face shine upon me. Let, oh God, make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Father, please make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the countenance oh God, of your face shine brighter on me. Make your face shine upon me. Make your face shine upon me. Make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me, O oh Lord. Make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me, O Lord. Make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me, O Lord. Make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me, O Lord. Make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me, O Lord. Make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me, O Lord. Make your face shine upon me and be gracious unto me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You want to cry to God to please let him fight for you always. It's a year of divine intervention. Let him intervene always in your battles. Let him take it over always and give you peace. You want to live in peace all through the days of this year. Let God just keep fighting for you even in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, say, Father, please fight for me always. 
take over all my battles and give me peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Moses said the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Cry to God to fight for you always. Fight that fight for me always. Ancient of day, fight for me always. Eternal Redeemer, fight for me always. Fight for me always, O Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, fight for me. Take over all my battle. Take over all my war. Take over all my battle. Take over all my war. Take over all my battle. Take over all my war. Take over all my battle. Take over all my war. Take over all my battle. Take over all my war. Take over all my battle. Give me peace, O Lord. Give me peace, O Lord. Give me peace, O Lord. All the days of my life, let me dwell in your peace. Let me dwell in your peace. Let me not be distracted by any war or by any battle. Father, fight for me always. O God of heaven and earth, fight for me always in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Redeemer, fight for me always in the name of Jesus Christ. God of heaven and earth, fight for me always in the name of Jesus Christ. Liko shiteli andaraboja, raga ga 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 yegeleboja, raga da go yegelebo. Father, fight for me always, O Lord. Father, fight for me always, O Lord. Father, fight for me always, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, fight for me always, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for answers to our prayers. Lord, as we continue in this service, please let your presence continue with us. Do that that only you can do in our life tonight. And let all glory be unto you. Let all blessing be unto us, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome you again into another section of this special service. It's a service of deliverance. It's unusual, uncommon deliverance. It is called deliverance from demonic environment. Amen. Deliverance from demonic environment. It has been discovered that the problems that many are carrying about, the problem that kill many, the problem that brought many down in life was contacted at a place where they have lived before or walk or where they have passed through before. Amen. There are issues of life that is traceable to the environment that some people have operated in before. Amen. Many are going about with issues of life, with problems, with trouble, with afflictions, maybe with uh, 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 with one um, this, I mean, with one issues of life or the other, and they thought, oh, maybe it's somebody that placed a curse on them, or they thought, oh, it's their foundation. It might have nothing to do with their foundation. It could be as a result of where they have lived, or where they have school, or where they have worked, or where they have operated before. If that place is a seat of Satan, there are places called the seat of Satan, where Satan has his own seat, where Satan is holding meeting, where Satan is what is has been established. Amen. And in such a place, there will always be demonic traffic going out of demons and coming in, going out and coming in. And so whoever lives around there or operates around there or works around there or school around there, most likely they could be easily possessed, amen, oppressed or afflicted by what? By the demons, by the power of darkness that is moving. Now, I said to you the last time, I said some houses, some streets, some areas, a uh, traffic of witchcraft power, traffic of demonic powers. Now, when I said as this witchcraft power or this demonic power, as they go in and out in such places, they can possess, oppress, and afflict the inhabitant or the operator in those places. Amen. Such a place could be referred to as the synagogue of devil or the seat of what? Of Satan. 
Amen. And we saw that it's not just from today. Amen. The scripture even recognized there's a place called the seat of Satan. Revelation chapter 2. I read from you. Revelation chapter 2. The last time, verse 13. Hear what the scripture say. Here is Jesus Christ talking. He say, I know thy works and where thou dwellest. He say, even where Satan's seat is. And thou oldest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days, wherein Antipas was my faithful Matthias, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. Amen. Later we'll look at the characteristics of where Satan sits. Amen. But one of it is violence. Amen. Some have lost their life because of where they stayed. Amen. They stay where Satan Seat is so, therefore, there is always you know, uh, 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 sp uh, occasional spontaneous violence. You know, I mean, it's just like Satan is angry, and then there's a spontaneous violence in that environment. And before you know it, oh, some life has been lost, amen. And by the time people trace what was, I mean, what caused this thing, many at times things that doesn't make sense is because uh, it was the Satan's living there. That just got angry. Amen. So Antipas lost his life because it was located where Satan's seat was. Praise the Lord. Now, in the book of First Samuel, chapter 5, if you look at, let me show you something in First Samuel, chapter 5. Amen. Remember the story, so many fight between the Israelites and the, uh, and the Philistines. Oh, so this particular time, the Philistines, They've arrested the Ark of the Covenant, which they believe was the source of strength of the Israelites, which they believe was the secret of Israelites. Amen. And then they took it to where Satan's seat was. Amen. Now let me read. First, uh, first Samuel chapter 5. It says, And the Philistine, I read from verse 1 and 2, it says, And the Philistine took the Ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. Amen. Unto Ashdod. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. Amen. Now, the Ashdod, there are some people living in Ashdod. And even Dagon, amen, which is the representative of Satan, is also there. So you can imagine people living around Satan's seat. Amen. So there are places that people are. Where is referred to as Satan's seat, where the seat of Satan is. And you can imagine all unimaginable evils that can occasionally manifest in those places. Amen. Now, where Satan is, is there will always be traffic of demons. So you can imagine, you know, occasional contact with demons that people are not aware of. Amen. And depending on the feelings of the mood or the feelings of the demon, it could oppress, it could drop some things in their life. Let them begin to carry it about. So there are problems that people are having today that is traceable to where they have lived in before or where they are living now. Some are presently living where Satan's seat is. Amen. And as long as they continue there and they do nothing, of course, whatever is the problem they contacted there might continue. Praise the Lord. I remember vividly the case of a brother. Amen. I know him very well, you know, and uh, when I first knew him, he was of the other faith. Amen. He was a businessman. There's a particular place. I have some people I normally go there to visit. So every time, oh, I go there to visit them because it was close to them. I always take time to greet him also in his business premise. Amen. Because he was a very lovable brother. Amen. Very, I mean, even those of the other faith. Amen. So when I get there, I will greet him. And most time, he's always busy counting money. Why? Because he was a major distributor to a particular, I mean, to some uh, multinational company amen, that deals in daily need, product that people consume daily. So therefore, he always he is the distributor. He always make money. He sells daily. Only God knows how many hundreds of thousands or millions. Amen. So most time I get there, he's always counting money. So I see him as, well, he's a young man doing well, especially when I discovered that he was the owner of the business. Amen. So it was not long 
Oh, he told me that, oh, he has, he has repented, he has changed his faith, he has given his life to Christ, he's now a child of God. Oh, I was so excited. I celebrate, I, I celebrated that, that, oh, good one for you, my brother. Thank God for your life. Amen. But not knowing there was something that was pursuing him. Amen. And he continued, and he was fervent as a Christian. Amen. And his business, to me, I thought his business was doing very well. Because as I said, every night, I always counted a lot of money with his brother. Amen. So one day, I was disturbed when one of his younger brother called and said to me that I should please help them out. Either beg them or uh, beg their brother or help them out that their brother has not been able to travel home to see their mother for the past five years. And I said, why? He said, because he said he doesn't have transport money. Uh -uh. I said, transport money? How much will it cost for him to go and see your mother? He said, well, the transport is about 5,000. Uh -uh. I said, how do you mean? He doesn't have 5,000. Uh -uh. Then I asked, who is the owner of the business? He said, he's the owner of the business. Uh -uh. Okay, where do you people stay? I now discovered that, oh, when he first started the business, he was living, uh, somebody helped him, give him a boy scotter to live in. Amen. Wow. So, I called him. I said, brother, how are you? I learned this, 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 this. Uh, and he explained to me that things are very tough, things are very bad, that he himself could not explain what is going, what is wrong with him. When I first knew him, of course, he had a car. He told me he sold the car. Amen. That he sold the car to put the money in the business. That yes, people see him making money, but he is not seeing the money. Amen. That he knew something was wrong. That's why he even ran to Christ and gave his life to Jesus Christ. I said, okay, no problem. You know what? I, I invited him for a program on the mountain, a deliverance program on the mountain. And then we had the deliverance program on the mountain for him. It was on a Friday night. So Saturday morning, he went back home. And he said when he got to his house to rest, that he knew something was going on, but he could not place his finger. But he knew that something was going, going on in his house, in his room. But he could not place it. Well, because he was so tired, he took time, he slept. And when he slept, we woke up, they went back to his business. When he came back, he was still having that feeling that there's a strange movement. There's a strange revolt going on in his house. Amen. Now, it was around 3 a.m. in the night. I will never forget. It was Sunday stroke Monday that he called. And said, he was panting, shouting, man of God, please help me, please help me, please help me. You know, on I said, what is the problem? And he said, a kick slapped him and his mouth got disjointed. Ah, I was confused. A kick slapped you? I say, how can, what is a kick? I mean, I mean, because I couldn't imagine the kick <laughs> to have hand to slap somebody. So I, I was, I was forced to ask, what is a kick? It's the only man of God, cake now, nah, cake, cake that we eat, wedding cake, uh, birthday cake. Ah. I said, what happened? And he explained to me that when he slept, that he thought he was dreaming, that suddenly his wardrobe, where he normally keep his clothes, open up, and a cake fly out from the wardrobe, and suddenly a hand came out from the cake and gave him a dirty slap on his bed. And it was the pain that woke him up. And then his mouth was, I mean, his face got swollen, and then the blood was going out from his mouth. He rushed to the toilet to wash his mouth, you know, and out of confusion, he came to the wardrobe, opened the wardrobe, and behold, he saw the cake standing there, I mean, the cake sitting there, I mean, sitting there looking at him. He was confused and I was afraid. So I said, where is the cake? He said, man, who was see the cake? I said, are you in the dream? Or he said, no, 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 see, see the cake. The cake was there. How did, how did the cake get to your wardrobe? Which cake? How? Who brought it? Who, how, for how long has... Amen. Now, the long and short, you know, we, I, I told him I couldn't come that night. It was late around 3 a.m. I told him what to do and destroy the cake. Amen. And I got there to see him the next day. His face was swollen. Amen. I said, ah, is the only one slapped from the cake that's got your face swollen this much? Oh, thank God you did not receive a second slap. Maybe your head will have <laughs> be off your neck. 
Amen. Now, what am I saying? You know, a cake was in the wardrobe. Amen. And that was the problem. He was living with a power he never knew was living with him. Now, every money when he's going out in the morning, he has to dress from the wardrobe. He doesn't know he was only announcing to the power that he was still with. He said, I'm going. Now, when they return from work and remove the cloth and put it in the wardrobe, it's not the cloth that he was putting in the wardrobe. It is the proceed of the day. It is the sweat of the day that was handing over to that power that was in the wardrobe. Amen. So no wonder he was doing a multi-million dollar business, but he could not afford 5,000 naira to travel to go and see his mother. Amen. But guess what? After that night, after that night, things changed for this brother. That the one that asked, that could not raise 5,000 naira to go and see the mother, ended up going to their town to see the mother, not by public transport, but in his own vehicle. Amen. He ended that year, to the, I mean, to the best of my knowledge, at least, I know he ended that year with at least two vehicles. That was somebody that could not afford 5,000 naira. Amen. Now, what was the, what was the source of his problem? He was living with a power. He was living where the seat of Satan was. Amen. And that was why there was, he couldn't make any headway in life. And that is the problem of many today. Where they live is the source of their problem. Where they live is where Satan lives. Where they live is where Satan's seat is. Where they live, there are powers that is there manipulating, tormenting, troubling their life. That is responsible for what is happening to them. That is why tonight, friends, you must be very aggressive to free yourself from the seat of Satan. If Jesus can recognize there's a seat of where Satan's seat is, I mean the location of seat of Satan, then you must not joke with the prayers that I want you to pray tonight, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, the first prayer you want to pray, you want to cry to God. Let the fire of God, let it purge your place of work. Let it purge your, let it purge your place of dwelling thoroughly. And let every darkness and seat of Satan there disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready for the rain of fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Say, Father, say, Father, purge my place of work. Put my place of dwelling with your fire and let every darkness, every foothold and seat of Satan disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh God of heaven and earth, I come to you tonight. Lord, cry unto you for your fire. Lord, my place of war, where I am walking, where I am living. Father, put it now. Father, visit now with your fire. Father, visit now with your fire. Father, visit now with your fire. Visit my dwelling place now with your fire. Visit my working place now with your fire. Visit my dwelling place now with your fire. Visit my working place now with your fire. Let there be purging. Purge that place to go with your fire. Let every darkness, every foot odor, and seat of Satan, let it disappear. Nah, disappear. Nah, disappear. Nah. Let the seat of Satan, let the darkness, the foot of Satan, in where I'm living, in where I'm walking, let your fire purge it now. 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 Let your fire purge Makaka kukuta. Kata yakaka brudono brindili kada maya yakoko murodo sindeli handa radaka yaga labo bobo jede gede gede rika le kala bobo je iraka da kada la la bobo boza where I am living where in my place of war father pour now with your fire my place of war oh yeah pour now with your fire pour now with your fire let the seat of Satan be dislodged now let the foot of Satan disappear now let every darkness disappear now. 
now. Let every darkness disappear 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 now. Eat la kobo sotori handala. Rada kasheke le bobo sotori handala. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to ask the fire of God? Let it locate now your family house, your place of origin, and destroy completely from the root every darkness, every foothold, and Satan's seat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the fire of God, let it visit your family house, let it visit your place of origin, and let it destroy completely from the root every darkness, every foothold and seat of Satan. Are you ready to pray this prayer? Please pray with all aggression in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, fire of God. Can you please call him one more time? Say, fire of God. Okay, call it just one more time. Say, fire of God. Locate now. Say, locate now. My family house. My place of origin. And destroy completely from the root. Every darkness. Every foothold and Satan's seat. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Locate now. My family family house, my place of origin, and destroy completely from the root. Destroy completely from the root. Every darkness, every every foothold and seat of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Fire of God, I call on you tonight. Fire of God, I call on you tonight. Fire of God, I call on you tonight. Elijah call on you. You are Answer, I call on you tonight, fire of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at now, my family are, oh, my family are, on my father's side, on my mother's house. Look at now, my place of origin, and destroy completely from the root, every darkness, every foothold, and seat of Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ, destroy. Now, from the root, completely, every darkness, every foothold, and seat of Satan, destroy. Now, completely, from the root, fire of God, Marada Katapurobo Shekete Kalaban, fire of God, Me 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 Likulububu Jagadagadaga, fire of God, Hiragada Sutelele Shetele Katakatakada, fire of God, destroy completely. Destroy from the root. Look at now. Every. Look at now. My family house. From my father's side. On my mother's side. Look at my family house. Look at my place of origin. And destroy completely from the root. Every darkness. Every foothold. And seat of Satan. Every darkness. Every foothold. And seat of Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ. Destroy it. Now. Destroy it. Now. Uh -huh. Destroy it now. Uh -huh. Destroy it now. Uh -huh. Destroy it from the root. 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 Every darkness, every foot out of Sita, every seat of Sita. Destroy from the root. Maliko soto kada. Yere de 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 de. Raga gado koshe ke de ke je ke de. Reke lebo zagara. Leke lebo boza. Randa kada boza. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to ask the Holy Ghost fire? Let it rain upon the city where you live in. And the Lord completely every darkness, every foothold of Satan and seat of Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say Holy Ghost fire. 
Can you call him one more time? Say Holy Ghost fire. We oh, are yeah, calling just one more time. Say Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city where I live. Oh, rain upon the city where I live in and dislodge completely now. Every darkness, every foot odor and seat of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. We are rain now. Holy Ghost fire. Ah, we are rain now. Ah, Holy Ghost fire. We are rain now. Ah, Holy Ghost fire. We are rain now. Holy Ghost fire. We are rain now. Ah, Holy Ghost fire. We are rain now. Makata kata kata. Ye ge 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 borodoro zundi galaga dawosha. Iba babu sata kata kata. This Lord completely. Every darkness. Every foot out of Sita. Every seat of Sita. In the city where I live. Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city. This Lord now. Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city. This Lord now. Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city. This Lord now. Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city. This Lord now. Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city. This Lord now. Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city. This Lord now. Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city. This Lord now. Holy Ghost fire. Rain upon the city. This Lord. Every darkness. Every foot of Seda. Every seat of Seda. This Lord is now. Mashata Palata Kata. Mekushe Teke Debo. Let me not contact the evil. Ruda Gaga 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 Gaga. This Lord now. This Lord now. This Lord now. Holy Ghost fire. This Lord. 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 Holy Ghost fire. Ah. From the city where I live in. This Lord completely. Every darkness. Every photo of Seda. Every. Ah. Yeah. 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 Every seat of Seda. This Lord is completely. Holy Ghost fire. This Lord is now. Ah. 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 This Lord is now. Aha, this Lord is now. Aha, this Lord is now. Leko soto para da seteri andarabo shata. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I pray for you in that name that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of heaven will shine. The light of his countenance brighter on you in the name of Jesus Christ. He will be gracious unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. He will fight all your battle in the name of Jesus Christ. He will give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The God of heaven will purge your place of work with his fire and he will dislodge completely. Every darkness, every foothold and seat of Satan in your place of work, the God of heaven dislodge it now with his fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of God purge your business premises now. The fire of God visit your business premises now. The fire of God visit your business premises now. That fire begin to dislodge every darkness, every seat of Satan, every foot of Satan in your business premise. The fire of God dislodge it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Le druka satari anda kadle ke sheteli anda. The fire of God visit your family house on your father's side or your mother's side. Every darkness. Every foot out of Satan, every seat of Satan in your father's house, in your mother's house, in your family house, even in your place of origin, that have had negative bearing on your life or your destiny, the fire of God destroyed completely from the root. Every darkness, every foot old and seat of Satan in your family house in the name of Jesus Christ. In the city where you are living, the fire of God destroyed completely from the root. Every darkness, every foot old and seat of Satan in that city where you are in now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I command tonight your freedom from every affliction, every trouble associated from every environment you have been or you have now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command your deliverance tonight. Whatever you have lost to demonic environment, I command the restoration now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have contacted for evil from any demonic environment, I command it to be destroyed from the root in your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, I command your freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Now, it is time to give our offering now. Offering time is blessing times. You believe God have reached out to you. God have opened your eyes to something deep. And God have started working. Even in your past, in your place of work, in where you are living. Then respond back to God with your offering. Amen. Or you want to give your seed unto God or you have a tithe you want to give unto him. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, behold the offering of your children. Behold the seed of your children. Behold the tithe, O God, of your children. Father, please receive this of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By this that they have given tonight, Father, please respond back to them in your own way in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. Let this be used to the furtherance of your work here on earth, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, eternal Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. There's an account details on the screens. You can send it at your offering, that your seed, or that your tithe. And as you do so, the mighty hand of God is receiving of you, and surely he will respond back to you adequately. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we share the grace and fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Say, I am God's fire on the move. Say, I am God's fire on the move. Say, I am God's fire on the move. At my appearance, darkness must disappear. I am God's fire on the moon. Whatever that cannot stop God will not be able to stop me. I am God's fire on the moon. Amen. One powerful hallelujah to the most high. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you till I come your way again.